Hello! Welcome to another taste test. UK special this time. So if you haven't seen it, I was in London and I picked up some super interesting things in the supermarket and I want to know if I picked good or if it was a miss. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Let's dive right in and see what we got. Okay, I have two savory things. Let's start with these. I have from the Eaton Park a caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar pea and bean sticks. This sounds very up my street. So let's see um, how they taste. Ooh, okay, it smells like the description on the cover. So onion and vinegar. Yeah, let's dive in. Um, it looks like this. They have different colors. It looks like they are a bit red and a bit green also. Are they different? Oh yeah, because this uh, pea and bean sticks. I guess the bean one are the, the redder ones and the pea ones are uh, the greener ones. Let me show you the difference. So you can see that this, this one is green and this one is more red. So let's try the pea one. I can tell it's crunchy. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's only a hint of flavors. So if you put it in your mouth, there's maximum amount of flavors and then it fades away. But yeah, it's nice. It's a nice snack and I would recommend it. And I think I can eat half of a bag in, in one evening. <laughs> I would say this is a 9 out of 10. Next one is this one. This is Love Corn and I went for the flavor Cheese and Onion. P.S. Find Love in the Little Things. And there's a light crunch inside. Okay. Let's open it on up. Ooh, the smell is not very inviting. Mm, ah, now I can now I can smell some onion. Okay, cheese and maybe cheese, but old cheese like cheese eat. <laughs> okay, so these are little corns, corn bits. They look like this. You know how corn looks, right? And they are roasted and they are crunchy. I don't know if this is my favorite flavor, but this is a nice snack. It's very uncomplicated and crunchy. And I would not go for the cheese and onion, if I'm honest. But there were some other flavors. Maybe you check them out. I saw them at the um, payment um, in the payment area, so right before the cashiers, and there were some more. So peel your eyes for love corn. I would say it's a <clears throat> seven out of ten. Ah, I just remembered that I have another savory product. Um, we got this from the airline as a snack and these are Penn State baked pretzels, sour cream and chive. This is a very tiny small bag. Oh and they are super tiny pretzels inside. Um, they are a bit pale so usually pretzels have to be more brown. They should have a darker color. Well, that's very lame. 
it's not at all a pretzel dough. You can feel that and it's just like wheat, yeah. A wheat baked thing and the flavor is also not very dominant nor nice. So hmm, I won't recommend them and I would give a 2 out of 10. Let's go on with the sweet things. I like sweet things. Um, I went for these. Uh, I did, didn't see where to buy them that, are, that they are gluten free but maybe somebody uh, will be happy about the fact that I'm trying these. So these are from Nairn's chocolate chip oat biscuit breaks and I like oat biscuits so let's see. Four pouches of four biscuits. Ah, okay. So something to take into the office with you or to school. So we have here the four biscuits. I like everything that is crunchy. I know that annoys so many people, but crunch is cool. Okay, I mean, how long can you eat crunchy things? you are older and have bad teeth then maybe you can't do that anymore or have to dip everything in water or coffee. <sighs> okay, I can smell chocolate. It smells very nice. So one biscuit looks like this. Okay, so they are from the drier side but I know Usually um, oat biscuits are normally from the drier side. There is a hint of salt. You can taste sometimes. And there's a super good amount of chocolate chips. So you have chocolate, you have the biscuit itself and it's a good mixture. <laughs> I would say if you have a tea or a coffee, just dip it in <laughs> to have it <laughs> um, not as dry as they are. They are nice. Um, I would I would say they they are good. Let's give them a six out of ten because they are a bit dry. Let's move on with these. So I found these also in the paying area in the supermarket, Grace Peanut Butter Oat Boosts. So these are the reflect jacks. Three little flat jacks in one package. And ah, they are a bit sticky. Mm. Ah, what a good smell. I can smell peanut butter and oats and yeah, it smells really good. So are these with raisins? Just for those who doesn't like raisins. No, they are without raisins. Let's see. They're really soft and super tasty. The problem is I can't get any peanut butter flavor. Peanut butter, right? Yeah. Out of it. Maybe it's hidden. <laughs> How much? So it's made of 100% of peanuts. Ah, oh, no. Peanut butter, 5%. Ah, that's why. Okay, so we have 37% oats and 5% peanut butter. But 4% roasted peanuts as well. Okay, so I... Mm, I I wasn't able to taste them. They taste good if you don't know that the flavor is peanut butter. Um, if you don't know that, then I would give a mm, 7 out of 10. But as I'm knowing that it's peanut butter flavor, I would give a 4 out of 10 because 
I'm missing that. Let's go on with peanut butter. <clears throat> we have this one here. This is uh, the pip and not. Oh, look at the little squirrel. Look at this little squirrel, super cute. Pip and nut dark chocolate peanut, made with real peanut butter. They look a bit like these Reese things, but this is plant-based and so on. So we have this little cup here, and I guess the peanut butter is inside. Mmm, yes it is. Here's the peanut butter. They took really dark chocolate and it is more dominant. It is dominant. I can't taste any peanut butter. Okay, I licked it now and now I can taste the peanut butter. But if you do those things, there should be a harmonized exchange of flavors. Maybe they can take it into consideration. <laughs> the problem is that the chocolate doesn't taste really nice. In my opinion, you know me, I'm very complicated with chocolate. <laughs> so, it's a super dark chocolate more on the on the sour side and usually when you have something with peanut butter it's everything tastes like peanut butter but not in this case so maybe they can adjust this or something i wouldn't recommend it um it's only i mean it tastes night no i wouldn't i wouldn't buy it again i would give a um, four out of 10. Let's move on to the last two things. We have here the, oops, the Yorkie. So I heard these are very popular in the UK. I haven't seen them. We ha don't have them in Germany. They are from Nestle and yeah, let's dive into it. I don't know what it is. It's original Yorkie. I don't know. Should I Check the flavors. No, I, I will. I will just try. It. Ah, oh, okay. It looks like a, a chocolate bar, and it's. Uh, it should. It seems to be. Is it only milk chocolate in a bar? Is it a milk chocolate bar? Okay, I can't smell any chocolate. This is super boring. <laughs> it's like having a cheap supermarket advent calendar with those, you know, where they fill the chocolate directly into those forms. Can't recommend it, sorry. This is not my, my type of chocolate. It's not chocolate for me, it's only, yeah, okay. I think you understood me. This is a one out of 10. Okay, we're nearly finished. I saved this for last. These are the Poppets Minty Dark Choc Mint Cream. I'm a fan of this combination. So I guess these are little buttons. Press and pull open. So it's like a dispenser. Oh, okay. Mm, they are soft. I thought they are like M&Ms, like crispy. Now I have a fresh breath. They are okay. They are very, very, very sweet. I can't really taste the chocolate. So the mint is more dominant now. And I guess it's okay. I won't buy them again and I really can't recommend them. They are <gasps> okay I had two and I'm thirsty now. I need to drink something some water because um they are super super sweet. That was it from my test test out of my new kitchen 
and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, you give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything and I would be happy about that. And then we will see us very soon. Stay safe and take care. Bye.